Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode. Lucky got a bath. Yeah, Lucky got a bath. He's not just terribly happy about it, but he's clean to the whistle now. And you bathed him, what, three times? No, I... Twice. Two. Two times, and both times that bathtub was dirty. Yeah, well, tub. part of the trouble is the water is kind of not the cleanest, but yeah. that first time a lot of dirt came off him, I think off his feet. And our town's water is sometimes... We need to call the office and tell them the front to tell them what's going on. Yeah. Like call the town clerk and she'll probably know who to talk to. Anyway. Our water's yellow. Mm -hmm. It looks like weak tea, yeah. doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about... I'm not going to say the person's name, but maybe I should. He got arrested. He has a $10,000 <laughs> bond. Oh, him? Yeah. Yeah. Um, down in Massachusetts. Do you remember what he had unregistered guns? And he was cleaning up the boatyard, a old boatyard or something, and he's, uh, I guess he was burning stuff in the yard. Mm. Like burning garbage, trash and stuff in the yard. Yeah. That's why they came out initially. Then. Well, I think that was the initial thing that they found. They had unregistered guns, but they were like his family's guns. Oh, yeah. His father's and grandfather. So, this is, this is how I feel about the guy. Tough shit. I would like him to get the help he needs. Um, I don't think he will. He never will. But, um, you know, the H E double L that he put us through. I'd like for him to get a good swift kick in the ass. And, you know, I mean, maybe after two and a half years or whatever, or two years, or... He ain't sticking the damn bit. Um, you would think I'd be over it, but, look... The the activists in Keene, at least a lot of them. I don't know why they applaud him. They knew what kind of guy he was. He, nobody warned us. Yeah, uh, he had done what he did to us, to other people, and nobody let us know. And he was the only person out of all the activists that live in Keene that talked to us on Facebook when we were talking about, say, talking about moving up here. Hmm. That's what's really screwy. And why do they want? people that want to move up here get into fall into his hands. Why don't they say try to befriend them and you know stop being such snobs? Yeah. And now that the people over like in the Manchester area seem different than the activist in the Keene area. No, I'm not I'm not don't get me wrong, I mean there are actually very good people in Keene, but they seem to be few and far between insofar as the activists. I think we get along a lot better with just the native New Hampshireites up here. I think it's a very cliquish society, yeah. what the problem is. But you know, I, I see activism on like Ridley Report. I mean the activists, not the people. Yeah. You know, I see activists on the Ridley Report in, in Manch and Nashville in that area, and I like what they do. They're not in your face, and uh, you know, they're, they're nicer, they're just a different breed of people. And, you know, this guy needs help, and there are a lot I of people... part of Keene's mentality is they're trying to take over the city, and that's kind of backfiring on them. And this guy, he needs he needs psychiatric help. <laughs> he needs to be on his medicine. Um, you and, heard me laugh. And, you know, I actually have very little symphony sympathy... I can't speak. Sympathy for him. Bye, 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 bye. So, um, Symphony? and what, one thing that bugs me is that so many activists claim mental illness doesn't exist, and they see what he's done. He pulled a gun on the woman he supposedly loved. He beat up the woman he supposedly loved. And she kind of acts the way, the things I read, she still cares about him. I'm like, <laughs> you wouldn't do that to me and my family. If I did to my wife what he did to the woman he supposedly my loved... My family members would have killed you. Yeah, I would expect my wife to kill me. No, not, it, w it wouldn't have been me. It would have been my uncle. It not not just leave... Your ass out of this world. Not just leave, but to kill me. And 
you know, she had every right to defend herself, and she should have, with a bullet between his eyes. But, um, you know, when you have these activists that deny mental illness, and they, they rely almost, if not completely solely on, um, uh, uh, what was that idiot's name, uh, Thomas Saws. If you actually would read Thomas Saws writings, you would see that Thomas Saws was a nut, and he helped to found a front group for Scientology. Pretty he, much a cuckoo, huh? Yeah. He was a, uh, what they call a crypto-Scientologist, which means he was secretly a member of Scientology. Um, then you do understand what Scientologists say about psychiatry, don't you? It's from some space alien Xenu or something like I that. I think Scientologists need to <laughs> And um, he's, so really? he, he's on. He has a ten thousand dollar bond. Don't expect me to even help with a penny of it, because I, I won't. Well, I thought he just got it. No, I think he got out in April, but I think he had to sit there a while because the family couldn't afford to get his ass out. They kind of had to drop the bond. It, it, I think he sat in jail at least a month, about a month. You know, it, oh well. It ha it, you know, look, if him sitting in in jail it meant nothing. Oh, well, sweetie, if he if him sitting in jail, if the staff at the jail, the guards, the nurses, whatever, could observe him and say, look, and go up to him and say, look, um, have you thought about seeing a psychiatrist? Because that's what he needs. He needs to see a psychiatrist. He needs to be on medication. And then he wouldn't go through these cycles the way he does. I have very little sympathy sympathy for the guy. He's messed up. Yeah, he, he is really messed up. And I don't know how people continue to support him. I mean, you you, you see what he does or you don't, so many of you don't seem to see what he does. Well, I think a lot of people that don't know him well easily fall into his traps and under his spell, and no. there they go, you know, if they come to become friends with him, don't fully realize, without being warned of what he is and what he'll do to them. But some of you have known him long enough to, people, yeah, to know better, and some of you still say, oh, I've never heard anything about him. Yeah. You know, I've never heard anything about him doing this or that. Really? Are you serious? I mean, I don't know how you could not have heard about his antics. Um, He's good entertainment. Yeah. Um, but, laugh. but, you know, I just have very little sympathy for him. I mean, I, I want him to get the help he needs, but whatever bridges he had with us, he burned long time ago and just you know he needs to be on medication and he needs to see a, a counselor as well um, but you know it really bothers me that all those these people in Keene that knew about what he has done and that what he did to other people you just kind of gloss over what he does yeah and then he does it to us and nobody let us know ahead of time what kind of person he was. That really pisses me off. Not an inkling. What? Not an inkling of a warning, you know. Yeah. Not be careful with this guy or anything like that, you know. And, you know, I, I, I warn people. I have no problems warning people. Because that's what I would expect. I would want somebody to, to warn me. So I'm going to warn you. And, you know, somebody said he's in a FEMA camp. I don't know about that. Uh, although Massachusetts would be a place where you would expect a FEMA camp because well, all the rich... Supposedly they closed up air base. Oh, oh. Yeah, it used to be a military base and now they, I think they call it Camp Edward. It's oh. on the Cape. Oh. If you read through all the ins and outs, well, um, you can find that right post on there. And so, you know, I mean, it is true there is a war out against the mentally ill. And so it wouldn't surprise me that somebody like him would wind up in a FEMA camp. But 
if he was stable and he was on his medication, it's less likely that he would wind up in a place like that because he would not do the stupid things that he does. So, Unfortunately, I'd let him stay there. So, um, anyway, I, I mean, I just don't have much sympathy for the guy. I mean, I, I, I want him to get the help he needs, but, you know, I, I he burned, he burned his bridges with us. Really and, burned them. You know, and, you know, so, I don't know.